to ABC News. Good morning to you. It's foggy out there on this Monday. I'm Andy Rose at News Radio 1067 from the Ackerman Security News Desk. Here's what's happening at 602. The official groundbreaking for the new Falcon Stadium will be held this evening. Connie Cummings has more now, live from the News Center. Connie will not be held at the stadium site. That's right, Andy, because preliminary construction is already underway on the site. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell, Major League Soccer Commissioner Don Garber, and Mayor Kasim Reed and Falcons owner Arthur Blank will participate in the ceremonial shoveling of dirt, but it's being done a short distance away at International Plaza between the Dome and Phillips Arena. This evening's groundbreaking is for invited guests only. Team officials promised the stadium will open on schedule by March of 2017. Live in the News Center, Connie Cummings, News Radio 1067. Thanks, Connie. A day ahead of tomorrow's primary, candidates for governor are still appealing for votes. Among them, Democrat Jason Carter, who says if he becomes governor, he'll work to make the State Ethics Commission an independent body. We remove the politics from the State Ethics Commission instead of having the governor uh, and the legislature appoint the Ethics Commission, uh, which then comes back and, and, and oversees their own conduct. Uh, I think we should have an independent ethics commission that's appointed either by members of the judiciary or some other group. GOP candidates John Barge and David Pennington actually both agree. Governor Deal declined our request for an interview before the primary. You can stay with us throughout the day for comments from the other candidates. And as you prepare to cast your vote, our Scott Kimbler tells us what it takes to get ready for the election. Voters walk in, hit the screen, and cast their votes. But Gwinnett County Elections Director Lynn Ledford tells me months of preparation and 2,500 workers go into pulling off a successful election day. They're paid volunteers, but they're still all citizens who just volunteer their time to do it, so we're very appreciative of those folks. Just in Gwinnett, there are more than 437,000 voters that will use 100 156 locations and more than 1,700 voting machines. Kick those numbers around when you start heading to the polls. They open at 7 tomorrow morning. At Gwinnett County Election Headquarters, Scott Kimbler, News Radio 1067. If it feels like your MARTA train is arriving a little faster this morning, you're right. MARTA COO Rich Krisak tells us starting today, changes are being made to cut down the waiting time between trains by five minutes. You're getting more trains per hour, but they're shorter trains, which gives you basically the equivalent capacity. Over the weekend, MARTA also increased bus service frequency on 17 routes. Some parents are demanding that the Calhoun High School students who attended a party where an 18-year-old classmate was allegedly raped not be allowed to participate in next week's graduation ceremony. The victim is still hospitalized. Protesters like Renee Fowler spoke with Fox 5. It was it was a nightmare. It was, it was, it was a tragedy. I mean, it should never be the same. The incident happened last week at a prom after party at a cabin on the Kusawati River Resort. So far, no arrests have been made. Nationwide gas prices fell again last week. Analyst Trilby Lundberg tells us why. Prices finally slipped down because there's more than enough gasoline to go around. And uh, maintenance and repair projects by refiners in advance of our peak driving months are largely complete. And the higher costs of producing summer blend gasoline are largely passed through. Here in Georgia, prices fell by two cents last week to an average of $3.63 a gallon for regular unleaded. Several families who live in the Alexandria Landing apartment complex in College Park are now homeless following a fire on Sunday. At least one person who lives there claims the cause of the fire was arson. Brooke, who was afraid to give her last name, says it all started when she called police about a break-in at her apartment. I'm staying on the phone with them the whole time. I'm hiding in the closet or whatever because I don't have any weapons to protect myself.